might be witnessing the last Witch Witch review ever on the channel. I'll explain, but we got it. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. The Cheeseburger Witch. That is correct. I have the Cheeseburger Witch in this bag and uh, I ordered it. If you're not familiar with Witch Witch, they have these little uh, pieces of paper. You write what you want, you hand it in, they put it on a, uh, I don't know, clothesline and they make it, little assembly line. Tender sirloin steak, smoked bacon, American cheese, gonna have some caramelized onions, pickles, witch sauce, and a toasted baguette sprinkled with toasted sesame seeds. Usually comes with tomatoes. I've been rocking with the tomatoes for a while now on the channel, very rarely taking them off. I took them off this, it is what it is. Let's check it out. All right, check it out, has the aluminum foil covering Take me to your leader. Um, you want me to open it up? I gotta open it up to eat it, so we're gonna open it up. All right, check it out. They do slice this for you. I went with the regular size, and let's open it up. Check that out. All right, did you check it out? I'll give you another close-up in a minute. Hold your horses. Here we go. All right, check that out. Let me give you a side view. There is a lot happening with this cheeseburger witch. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, let's take a look at the top right there. Do you see any uh, sesame seeds? I don't see any sesame seeds. It feels like it might be a different bun, but I don't see the sesame seeds. There's another shot at the inside, so let's get into this. All right, but before we get it, I mentioned at the uh, beginning that this might be my last uh, review from Witch Witch. Uh, this sandwich right here, it's one of their specialty sandwiches, uh, was $8.70, $9.50 with tax. Now, right off the bat, I'm not cheap when it comes to food. I will pay for good food. Lobster is my favorite food. I will splurge on lobster when I can. I will order a good steak. Uh, I don't mind spending money for good food, but this is probably, I don't know, eight inches is my guess, uh, the regular size, and you're gonna charge me almost $10 with tax. No, especially with Publix, you can go down there and get like a 12 inch, 13 inch sometimes, freshly made, loaded with uh, fresh toppings, and you're gonna walk out of there for six bucks. I mean, it is what it is. I hate to boycott a place just because of price. I know this is gonna taste good. I mean, look at it. It's a cheeseburger witch. Just look at this. But you're gonna charge me almost $10 with tax? Okay, it's sirloin steak, right? Tender sirloin steak. I might be overreacting, but I mean, this is not a very big sandwich and it was almost $10, but I digress. I will probably come back to the well at Witch Witch. I do enjoy the flavors and I'm interested to see what happens here. So here we go. The Cheeseburger Witch from Witch Witch. Let's go. Oh, I mean. All right, so listen, this is a very good tasting cheeseburger sub. Do you call it sub? Do you call it hoagie? Do you call it hero? Oh, we had uh, some uh, steak escaped Shawshank right there, just jumped into the ocean. Um, I like this. I also love the fact that they're using some thick cut pickles. You see one right there, front and center. Now the flavor's good. That uh, witch sauce, that witch witch sauce is very Thousand Islandy. That was an island -y. That's the best way I can describe it. It mixes well with this. I can probably use a little bit of ketchup because I do enjoy ketchup on my burgers. Second bite. All right, so yeah, this is a really uh, nice tasting sub. I enjoy it. It does give me a nice uh, cheeseburger vibe. I got a little bit of that bacon in there. So I guess this is technically a bacon cheeseburger witch. It doesn't call it that. It does call it just the cheeseburger witch. But this is basically a uh, bacon cheeseburger witch. They always throw a witch on the end of these bad boys. So I like it. But again, this was telling me it's a toasted baguette sprinkled with toasted sesame seeds. Are these them? No, that's part of the bread. All right, I like this. It is 100% overpriced. I enjoy it a lot. 
Um, I'm going to put some ketchup on it, and it is what it is. It is a cheeseburger sub, and I like it. You just need to give me a bigger portion, or you need to drop that price a little bit. I get it, it's on the favorite list. Got the banh mi, the Philly cheesesteak, the ultimate BLT, the gyro, uh, the brunch witch, that's got the egg on it, the meatball hero, and the uh, superfood witch, all on the favorites menu. So those are a little more priced, and you're giving me a sirloin steak. You're telling me it's sirloin steak. So I get maybe a little bit of an increase, but $10 for about a seven inch, uh, eight inch tops sub. I'm not 100% on board with that, but uh, let's give it a rating. On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, I'm going to give the cheeseburger, but for me, the bacon cheeseburger witch from Witch Witch, a rating of 81. 81 with potential to be higher, uh, but that price is kind of knocking it down for me. And I did not get the uh, toasted sesame seeds on the outside of the bun. That is a basic uh, roll right there. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing... Will this be the final Witch Witch video ever on the channel? How many have I done? Three, four? So it's not usually my go-to place. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. A savage comment, Jersey Mike's. I mentioned Jersey Mike's in a Witch Witch review. Savage, but I mean, it had to be done. They come correct. They're a little pricey too. Don't get me wrong. They're a little pricey too, but at least they give you bigger portions uh, than uh, Witch Witch, and I enjoy the uh, flavor of that a uh, little bit better, but... This was good. I'm knocking it on the price and a couple little things here and there, but uh, it is what it is. All right, bonus footage. I'm wearing a mask inside, but I finally got my sample mask uh, that I'm selling on Teespring. So if you're interested in a mask, you want an extra mask, go check out my uh, Teespring link. I will have that linked in the description below, but I'm rocking the uh, endorsement New York license plate mask. That's my social media on the chin and the uh, license plate right there. So I like it, great quality, fits nice. Uh, go check them out. Thank you.